Ah, good afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on this Memorial Day, Memorial Day, to uh, say a few things. I don't know how relevant they are, but a couple things I, I wanted to uh, uh, talk about was uh, a deal I found uh, thanks to the uh, Antique Radio Forum. Um, I kind of watch that uh, forum pretty close, especially the test instruments and uh, equipment, things like that, tools, uh, sub-forum. And um, one of the ones I found was this, this multimeter that I'm going to put up some pictures of. And uh, in the uh, description you'll find a link to a very detailed review of this little multimeter. And the reason I'm doing this is this thing would be ideal for any of you guys that uh, don't want to spend a lot of money on a, a multimeter but you think you'd like to have one. You need to carry, with, carry in a car. I mean, we use for anything. It's, it's a really nice little uh, digital multimeter. And uh, <laughs> the kicker is you can buy it from China for, for a little over $11. Shipped. So, you know, I paid uh, thirteen dollars and sixty cents for mine because it was uh, in here in the states a lot of people on ebay buy stuff from china and then sell it on ebay and they offer you know usa shipping on it that way it, it comes a little quicker uh, china does take a while to get here but if you're no hurry i mean you know you save a couple bucks get it from china no big deal but it's it's going to be the same meter anyway but uh like I said, if you watch the uh, little review of the, the meter and see how nice this meter is, it's auto ranging. It's true RMS meter. It's it's just really amazing for the price. It's a Victor uh, brand name. So I just wanted to bring bring it, show you that guy, uh, show you that, and uh, pass that along to anybody that's looking for one, uh, an inexpensive, fairly good di digital multimeter. So now next I had. Uh, on my uh, my little component checker, um, I was thinking about making my own case, as I said in my other videos, and I even started on one with the cassette case, but uh, that that's not going to work out. So Ron C, I guess, saw that uh, video and has graciously offered to print one on his 3D printer. I didn't realize he had a 3D printer, but he has uh, said that he would do that. He's currently uh, traveling. And at the moment, if you watch his channel, you know he was just in San Francisco, and and I think they were headed to L.A. So, uh, but he said he once once he got back, he would do that and mail it to me. So, we got that to look forward. I'm going to put some pictures of that in here, also of the one uh, the link I sent to him. Uh, to show you what it looks like, and uh, so we'll see how it turns out. That'll be interesting to see. So, other than that, I really, not much going on today. It's really been a quiet, very quiet day. It's a very nice day outside. I think 86 out there, which is warm, but it's not terribly hot. I went out and uh, made a trip to uh, Mickey D's <laughs> earlier. I got a McChicken and a small fry and a large chocolate shake. That was just hit the spot. So I do that once in a while. I, I get something, you know, a little special. Uh, like I said, I think that's about it. You know, all I had. Of course, you know, I always uh, think I've got more to say than I actually have to say. You know how that works, guys that make YouTube videos. I know you all know how that works. But uh, I am going to put a little shot here, uh, and I'll put it in right here. Just wanted to show you that I did get the uh, desk cleaned off. Mostly. I still have a few things on this end that I uh, don't have room for anywhere else. So I put all my tools away, all my resistors, etc. Et back in the uh, compartments up above there in the drawers. Um, so just wanted to add that to this video show you that I did get that done. I, I, don't, I don't sit around and do nothing all the time. <laughs> Most of the time I do, but not all the time. So I get back to my regular
commentary video that I'm doing now, so just wanted to bring you in for that little uh, part of it, so later on. So you can see that was my that was my bench all planed off. That you know, like I said, I don't sit in this chair all all the time. I do a lot, but not all the time. So I did get the bench sort of cleaned up and put the parts away and things like that. It's just a pain in the butt to have to do. But uh, after I work, work on something like that, the radio is working fine. I think I'm gonna set it up on its shelf in there and plug it in that little power strip over there. I'll plug it in over there and have it there. It'll be there to listen to whenever I want to. And uh, I was watching Bill's old 64 Ghost video earlier about his hard drive, external hard drive, not working with his Windows 7 64-bit computer. And I hope you get that fixed, Bill. Um, it sometimes it's tough. Either the drivers are not right for 64-bit computers, or maybe it was that power cord. I don't know. But it should work. We'll put it that way. Um, anywho, like I say, you guys... Uh, been watching a lot of uh, Dan's uh, videos here today. He seemed to have gotten a spirit to make videos, and he posted a few, so that's Busman54. So basically, I want to say you guys uh, enjoy the rest of the day. It's a beautiful day. Hopefully, hopefully it is where you're at, too. And uh, I'm hoping to uh, get some... Uh, I don't know how long that uh, meter is going to take to get here, but... Uh, like I say, it shouldn't. It's in New York, I think, is where I ordered that. Usually, they arrive pretty quick from New York, even even postal service. So we'll see how that uh, works when we get it. I don't really need another meter, but man, that was just too too good to pass up. So, um, like I say, you guys have a good rest of the day, and thanks for watching.